previously on Making the Squad. You lot are going to be so terrible at this. <laughs> oh, bang! Oh, shoot! Yeah! I thought that was a bit disrespectful. First person to be eliminated is Charles. Last but not least, Rusty. These are the final four. There's the top dog from the Netherlands, Basti. There's the cup and the cash that I'm here to take home. Obviously, the G2 contract is the big prize. Take the lead here. And they take Three more people to beat and it's a worried mind. Then there's Armenia, chomping at his heels. Being part of G2 Esports would be quite a fantastic achievement. Um, you put that on your CV. Yeah, I'm already thinking about the pictures taken with a trophy and that. There's Crunch, who has proven his stay in power, even when on the verge of elimination. I didn't think I was going to make the final four. I kept, I kept calling my mom, telling her I'm going to be home tomorrow. Mom. Oh. Somehow, some way, we've managed to make it this far. I, can't, I couldn't be prouder of myself. Finally, there's Rosé, the lone wolf and the most enigmatic in the competition. I'm confident about my game, also nervous because it means a lot to the four of us. Let's go! That's the motivation just here, yeah. By the end of this round, one more will be packing their controller away and departing Berlin. My name is Bastian, I'm 23 years old and I'm from Tilburg, the Netherlands. I moved to Valencia three and a half years ago for the first time uh, to do my internship right here. I did an internship at a company that did tours and I fell in love with the city and I decided to come back afterwards to live with my girlfriend and stay here. <laughs> for me, my future would be in esports. When you're a streamer as well, you have to know what your value is that you're bringing to the one that's watching you. What's up? Welcome to a live stream. My value that I bring to my viewers is that I'm trying to show them good gameplay, how to do certain skills, how to get their defense in order. It's obviously very important to have that very nice atmosphere and that you really connect to a person as well as you feel like you're part of a community. Glad you're cleaning the house. I've got some funny smells as I walk to. Today's challenge is nothing new to you all. You're all streamers, so it's only right you guys stream. You're each gonna have 10 minutes on the stream. However, you're going to be recording live on a subject you know nothing about, on somebody else's channel. Now, these people are massive influencers, <laughs> so don't mess this up. Hey. Yeah. I'm um, sorry, I'm saying it now. <laughs> I've assigned the contestants their own individual categories. But Steve, let's start with you. Well, with me, okay. Here are your instructions. You're gonna do a makeup tutorial. That's a good one. Will, what's yours? A cake decoration with Georgia cakes. Okay, big up Georgia cakes. Big up. What are you oh. doing then? My one is to create a watercolor greeting card. Oh. Last but not least, Santi, what have you got? We will be doing yoga! Oh. Hey. And we're going to be judging you on three things. Holding your nerve, duration and execution. Let's get into this! They all have a chance to bag 15 points with each category scored out of five. Welcome to my channel. Uh, we've got Making the Squad from Inside TV. Hi, Georgia. Uh, taking over my channel. And we've got uh, Will here, who's going to be attempting one of my drip cakes. You've only got about 10 minutes to do so, so um, best of luck. Don't mess up, Will. You've only got 200,000 followers to impress. Over to you, Will. Thank you. So, guys, Welcome, my name is Wilfried, and today we are going to decorate a cake. It's going to be pipe stripes of color. <laughs> pipe stripes, I love it. Of the cake. So let's do this. 
on my way to the fridge. Ah, <laughs> yes, Will! So basically, I have two colors, the blue and the orange. Is he meant to be doing it like that, Georgia? Here's a tip, the table turns. It is a turning table. How's he doing, Georgia? Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next step, guys, next step. I don't think you've scraped nothing off yet. Okay, no, actually, I can see some. Well, we got some people in the chat saying it's good job. Really? Some people, yeah, some people saying, go on, Will. I mean, thank you, everyone. It's not bad at all. Smoothing out these edges, but keeping those stripes visible rather than blending them in together. Oh, that's better. It's better? Remember, don't blend it. I'm trying. Six, we got some toppings. Okay. Five, four, three, Two, time is up, Will! So, Georgia, you're going to be judging my lovely friend Will on three things. Holding his nerve, I'm going to give you four. Oh, nice. Because I think, like, even though it was a little bit of a disaster, you were cool the whole time. Execution, Georgia, what are we giving him? I'm going to be generous. I'm going to give you a three. Wow! Because action-wise, you were rotating that thing, you were holding the piping bag correctly. Georgia, what are we giving him for duration? Another three. I take it. Thank you, Georgia. So, Will, in total, you scored 10 points. Tune in next time for more entertainment. This lovely lady is called Doria. She's Italian and she does yoga, but with a twist. That's all I'm going to say. Before we begin, have you ever done yoga before? I have never done yoga in my life. You get to have fun, enjoy your journey, and connect with your body. That's the most important thing. So, Santi, you've got 80,000 people watching you, and you're in yoga pants. Good luck, do your best, OK, and smile. My name is Santiago. I come from Venezuela, and today I'm going to teach you the yoga Venezuelan style. Make sure you can touch your feet, which I can't, sadly, but if you kind of stretch your legs, you can get there. It looks so good, Santi. It really, really does. Try and make your legs straight a little bit. See, you can do it. Yeah, but it hurts. What is going on with this posture? Just point your feet out. That's the one, brother. Hey! Your back leg's got to be straight. Yeah, but I can't make it straight. <laughs> Sorry, Doria. Just tell me if this is OK, yeah? How is that hard? Yes, it is. One, two, I three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm feeling like a chair. I'm a chair. 59, 60. There we go. Doria. Okay, so duration, I would say four. Execution? Execution, well, I would say three. Okay, and holding his nerve? I would say three. Santi, you got a total score yes. of 10. How you've done that, I don't know. Amenya, make your way into the kitchen, my friend. Your tutor is called Simon. Hi, nice to meet you. Simon is 18 years old, and he started doing paper sculptures and stuffed animals. Uh, where are you from in, in, in the States, brother? A suburb of Milwaukee. Not a clue why I asked, because I don't know where that is. From Wisconsin. It's getting to be pretty cold right now. When you're ready, Amenya, take her away. Hello, everyone. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you guys a bit of arts and crafts. I'm going to be painting the Berlin Wall. I can't make any mistakes because it's all abstract graffiti. So that's why Love I'm doing that, that one. Now, Safety. So we've got a couple trees in that. I'm going to stamp it and start slapping it down on the page. Now, do you know what? I'm going to go with a bit of a, how do we call it? It's like a perspective. When you draw the two lines like that coming down the page and you've got the walls either <laughs> side and the, and the road in between. Have you Googled this before we started? Bro, I was the artist back in the day, you know? So once I've wet that brush, I'm going to clean it on this paper towel here, as you can see, because you don't want to mix colours. Does all this make sense, Sai? I think he's just not not the best at reading, but but good at talking. See? Pardon? Draw me and you on the card. Draw me and you, yeah? All right, say nothing. Let me get this one there first. So here's me and you on the roads, because we're from the roads, obviously. Yeah. We're just bopping through Berlin. Come on, you know the vibes. I can't make you hench, though, unfortunately. I know you've been banging gym, but stick men can't really be hench like that, you know what I'm saying? The Berlin Wall, as imagined by myself, once again, the Germany flag on there, a couple of flowers. And smiley your faces. time is up. Thank say you goodbye so much. to the viewers. Say thank you to Simon for Thank his you time. so much for having me, Simon. Definitely. It has been a pleasure to be on your channel. I really appreciate it. Simon, 
On this lovely show, we like to judge the contestants on three things. Um, execution. Let's do, let's give them a three. Three, nice. Uh, duration. That's good, I would give him a five on duration. Okay, five on Ooh. duration. And holding your nerve, was he confident? Was he shy at any point? Did he come across well on camera? Was he engaging? I'd give him a five on that. Whoa! He was always talking and, and kind of keeping the viewer engaged, which I think is the, yeah. the best part. Would you buy that if it was in a shop, Simon? Probably not. <laughs> okay, that is dog's dinner. <laughs> Basti, yes. you have a tutor for today. Nelly, she's a UK-based influencer. She creates makeup tutorials that are for everyone and can benefit everyone. Yo, Basti, ever wondered what it's like to have half a million subscribers? Yeah. Well, you're about to find out. Hello, welcome. And today I'm gonna give you a makeup tutorial. First, I'm going to brush my eyebrows. And the eyebrows are very important. You do it right. Your eyebrows show expressions. So you want? Said your eyebrow shows expressions. He's waffling. I wax like the middle of my eyebrow because otherwise I would have like one eyebrow and I prefer two. And then what does he do after? We're gonna apply the glue. This is the toughest part, isn't it? Ah! Oh. As close to the lash line as possible. Beautiful! Whoa, it's actually not bad. That's not on the lash. It's not? No, we've got to take it off and do it again. Oh, yeah, it is. No. A little bit lower. That's The lash line. Eyelashes <laughs> are to the eyelids. <laughs> you know what? Yep, that's fine. Move on to lips. Just move on to lips. Is it top lip or bottom lip? Do this, look. Yeah, the, the, down, the bottom lip, right? No, but look, look at my mouth. I know. So you know? Yeah. You look beautiful, brother. Thank you. I'm gonna read out some comments, yeah? The majority of the comments are about how beautiful Nels is. They're not lying. <laughs> Another one is, hey, Philly, they know me! Mama made it! They know me on makeup tutorials now. Yeah, we are! We have it! They're not all right, huh? He's done now, thank God. Yeah, look, thank you so much for making me use your channel to do this. So I actually have like the right community for it. And um, yeah, make sure to check out Nelly. So, um, holding his nerve. Um, I feel like he did a good job. Three. Execution. I didn't expect too much, but he did all right. So that's a four out of five. Okay. Uh, duration. I would give him a three out of five. You scored a total of 10 points. All right, not bad, not bad. That's not bad. So, as you guys know, the challenge was based on three categories, holding your nerve, execution, and duration. Basti, you got 10 points. Will, you scored 10 yes. points. Okay. And funnily enough, Santi, you scored a grand total of 10 yes. points. <laughs> so, Amenya, you scored a grand total of 13 points. Yes. So, you guys already know, the challenge winner gets to decide the head-to-head -head for the games tomorrow in the Dome. So, when you're ready, Amenya, pick who you want to be playing tomorrow. No worries. Well, the only person that has beaten me here so far is Mr. Crunch. I'm going to need that revenge, so without further ado, we shall be playing tomorrow. Well, this is the bit of the competition where no friends exist. It's late as it is. Guys, make sure you get your rest. Tomorrow <laughs> is big games. Yes, sir. Guys, take care, sleep well, yeah. and I'll see you in the morning. Rose? Yeah, yeah. He's awake. Yes, we're talking bad about you. I mean, I had fun. Like it was, it was honestly a lot of fun, but it was so, so tough to get the challenge off my face afterwards. <laughs> How were the knees crunch? The stretches I did. Oh my days, bro. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I can move. It's not like you remember the first challenge when we played football. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the next day, everyone felt like a grandpa. Yeah. I was like very bad at what I was doing, but I was just talking nonsense the whole way through to look like I knew what was going yeah. on and just make it like entertaining. The first day, you were quiet, man. You were quiet. Like everybody here knew who you were. Like, oh yeah, there's a big streamer coming. He's trying myself is hard. I am me. I am just the person that likes to be spontaneous with everything he does. Like I speak my mind when I have to sometimes. I do bad jokes sometimes, I do good jokes. Personally, the way I like to see myself is I'm trying my best to live the moment. Moving from 
what I would say a third world country to a first world country is a huge thing. Like the security, the fact that I, I don't have to fear, like seriously, you don't fear for your life in a place like England. Whereas in Venezuela, the way I was brought up, um, there were a lot of bad things happening around me. You know, we had to go somewhere else where things could be better. Like we could have a brighter future. <laughs> Coming here and like the house having I mean, an actual Wi-Fi that works is for me, it's like, yes, man, I can at least play FIFA. Oh, let's go! I have been creating content for two years. I think I haven't made the most out of my reach. So we're gonna bring in a fresh, fresh legs. You see, came in straight up, penalty. Because I don't actually have enough time. When I create content, I'm putting the person that I'm helping in front of me. Because most of my content is just helping people achieve their goals in this game. I want the money, I want the partnerships. But if it can help others more than it can help me, I am more than happy that they get it because opportunities will come. It's the penultimate match day with only three places in the final up for grabs. One more will be leaving the competition. Let's get it, let's get it, okay. So lads, you guys are the final four. We started with 10, so give yourselves a little round of applause. Give a big one. Yeah, big one. Yeah, big one. yeah man, no, for real though, you should be proud of yourselves, man. So I'm, we've had some elite competitors here. Yesterday, Armenia, you was the challenge winner. You get to decide who you pick first. I want you to write down on this paper the team that you want to play with and hold it to your chest. Let me have that pen back. That was not a long name, was it? No. <laughs> yeah, I know who for. I want you to reveal who you have chose. PSG. Liverpool. Liverpool. Two Liverpools. Oh. First. Um, I feel like the only fair way to do this is a heads and tails. He can take Liverpool. Oh, I know. Which team I'm gonna get? So you're gonna let Basti have Liverpool? Yeah, he can take Liverpool. Sure about that? Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay, so who's the new team you're gonna be choosing? I'm going to play with Bayern Munich. Yes. That is interesting. Our first match of the day was Armenia versus Crunch. It's definitely gonna be a 50-50 game and I'm 100% far more nervous today than I have been for any game previously. When I have the ball, he always has a man on me. I want to get out of that pressure. That's all I'm going with. The dome is sealed. Let the games begin! We're at the Parc des Princes here in the French capital. This is so tense. Yeah. <laughs> it was Crunch who took the lead after some fantastic wing play. In it goes, an early goal. I think it was off. And then you're pushed for an equaliser. <sighs> And remember, Mendy lost twice. the last game as well. And soon got his reward. 1-1. One, one. As the first half ended, these two couldn't be separated. Tight offside. That pattern continued after the restart. Forced it. Both players were wasteful in attack. Oof. Until Crunch buried a oh, close dear. effort. 2-1. What a lovely strike! Amenya rattled the crossbar. Ah! Bang! But tucked home the rebound and had a late chance to win it. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Oh. Two minutes left in the game. Oh. Oh. That would be the last of the action. 2-2, two -two, with all eyes now focused on the second game. How do you think it went? It's, it's a draw, obviously not a result you wanted, but... Mm. What do you think? I, I think on the balance of play, it was a deserved result, to be honest with you. Um, I hit the bar a couple of times. On another day, maybe it goes in and I win the game, but yeah, it was a deserved result. I don't think I can say I, I deserve to win or he deserved to win, to be honest. I have always said, we have both even matches. First game, you won. Second game, I won. This game is 1-1. One, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How it's more even good. can you go, you know? Rose and Basti have been close rivals throughout the competition. Winning now would be more important than ever, as whoever loses will be going home tonight. I knew from the beginning that I didn't want to play with Liverpool, my main team of Bayern Munich. So it was just a mind game to see his reaction. Good luck. 
I've played Will twice before. I won twice. That's probably going to make Will very determined to actually beat me this time. Basti is the best player. Rosé was out for revenge. I nearly took the lead early on. How on earth did the goalkeeper yes, get there? And soon slammed home his opener. Into the second half, Basti was defending for his life. Basti is in that screen. Again, though, it is Basti. One shot, one goal is very possible. He desperately tried to get something going in attack. It has to be left hook. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now the task is to remain focused. But Rose punished him on the counter for 2 0. Surely. And a that meant a lot to the Frenchman. Basti knew his time was running out. Basti doesn't press. But couldn't find a way through. Nearly full time and Basti was yet to register a shot on target. With Rosé still inspired in defence. As the clock ticked down, Basti needed a miracle to come back. What a tackle. But it wasn't to be. With the whistle sealing his fate, 2-0 to Rosé and the end of the road for Basti. Rosé, you seemed confident going into the game. I was since, you know, since this morning, uh, in my head, I am in the zone. I knew at some point in this competition, I will have to play him again, yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So I was ready. And it must feel so good as well, because obviously the first two times you played Basti, I lost. Um, you lost. And obviously now we're towards the end of the competition, it must mean a lot more. Yeah. Basti, you had no shots in 90 minutes. Do you reckon Rosé just defended well and outplayed you, or was you not playing your game? I mean, Will was defending really, really well. Um, I didn't feel like I was in my game at all. Like, mm. I didn't do the normal runs I would do, the normal passes. Like, mm. it just wasn't there. Like, my strength was just... Basti. It hurts to see you go, brother. Sure does. I'll, I'll let you guys um, say your goodbyes. I'll say mine from now. Wow. Yeah, bro. Oh, I got the play. Good, good, job. Job. good job, man. <laughs> I felt like today I had a bit of an off day. Um, Right now, Will was just like very strong today, and he also was really determined to uh, give me the loss. Bastian, uh, from the beginning, is the favorite. He's the best player in the house, basically. I don't think Basti was overconfident per se in terms of going into today's game because I think we all knew after him is Rose. I made it through. I didn't expect Basti to go, oh, man. Things can happen, you know? That's, that's a beautiful game. The favourite never wins. That's just a golden rule. For me, it feels like after a couple of weeks of being here, being very much analysed by all the other competitors because they knew I was a strong player. I think from the start of the show, I've shown people that I'm a real player. At the end of the day, it is rough to be sent home. Though. That's not something I came from. It's the competition. Today, I was the underdog, and at the end of the day, I'm in the best position. I'm not cocky. I'm, I respect all the guys in the house, but let's be honest, I'm the favorite now. Ouais. Ça va? Ça va et toi? I'm in the final. Yeah. Next time on Making the Squad. Today you're all representing G2 and their partners. I absolutely want to win in, in anything. I'm not sure we see that ambition. I shouldn't be the one winning this competition. No goals and you miss penalty. What? You right. gave me the assist. Three of us left, whoever of us wins, we got here because we deserve it. So, true. whatever happens, it is what it is. You're actually pretty cocky.